Okay, hi there. I just want to make a quick uh, video here about a uh, SX base that I bought um, second hand up a nice guy over in the um, Ludlow area. Uh, it's quite a beautiful base. It's been converted to fretless. They um, took a fretted base, pulled off the um, frets, and they did a really nice job. And it's got a fairly decent sound for passive pickups. So it's just through the air of a Richter amp here, a Laney RB3. So it's a standard, standard uh, baz, uh, jazz bass, and if I turn just one of the pickups up, on this amp it sounds okay. So they're not balanced at this point. Whereas, let's choose the other pickup. Whereas on my uh, orange amp, you get a, quite a big difference in output of noise, because uh, they're, not, they're not balanced, okay. Let's turn it back up. But what I do notice, of course, if I turn the tone up, then you can hear quite a horrible sound coming through. Um, as I unbalance it, you hear it coming through. As I turn the front pickup down, it gets worse, okay? Um, I mean, that's everything down. Turn them up. Now, if we investigate, touch here, you see I'm touching the bridge. So it's clearly an earthing problem in the first instance. So what I'll do is I'll look at the shielding. I don't think there's any in there. I'll get on with that and we'll see what difference that makes. Uh, but what I do want to do at one point on the orange amp is to use a um, hum cancelling coil, a dummy coil that I got from Ironstone. And from what I understand, it just goes the other side of these, um, cut down, other side of this pick guard here. So whilst I'm doing the shielding, I'll see if there's space for it and I'll probably put that in at a later date. Anyway, I'll, I'll post on what happens when I put the shielding in, and hopefully we'll see the difference. Uh, tune in later. Okay, so what we've done, we've used this copper tape. This is the kind that has the adhesive that's also conductive, and you can test that by sticking a couple of strips on top of each other using your continuity meter to check the beeps. So it doesn't have to be pretty. You just need to make certain that you don't touch any of these bottom parts when they go in. The other thing I did, I noticed that the uh, earth here, it's not a particularly good piece of soldering, but the earth line to the bridge wasn't making very good contact, so I reflowed that. And you can still hear at the moment in the air, the, the string, you can hear some of the noise, if you listen carefully. But when we shut this down, we should begin see it goes pretty quiet yeah so that's already a promising sign that just that little bit of tape there because there is continuity maybe I can do it with one hand let's bring the meter into view let's stick that there hold on just getting the other lead in view So you can see there is continuity there, um, but it just wasn't very good. So I'm just going to lock it down and then we'll try some more tests in the air. Okay, well that wasn't quite enough. Um, you can see what they've done here. There's just a little wire that comes through to the bridge. Uh, I mean, there's almost nothing you can shield in this cavity. I mean, you could put copper tape around, but it's not really worth it because the energy is just coming in the str in the top and of course there's two types of hum or noise you get from pickups one you could do with shielding the other you have to do with electronic means such as the dummy coil so at this point what i'm going to do is to put a bit of tape across there see if that makes any difference um, and failing that i'll stick the dummy coil on. so the idea is to get the continuity better in this area so that it touches the bridge more efficiently this wired through to the common earth point under the pick under the um, control plate and let's see so you see what i had to do in fact was to put the copper underneath the bridge wire so it makes a sandwich the idea being that the bridge will push down on the link wire and then it will contact onto the copper wire and spread the conductivity of a bigger area because this little wire really doesn't work very well um, the stratocasters have a much better idea where the wire comes out physically to the claw underneath, so the base is of always a little bit more problematic, I think. Okay, so uh, I'm going to piece together the video, so it might be a bit disjointed, sorry about that. 
Um, what I did in the end was to, you can see here where I've taped around the bridge so I can see where I've taken it off to put it back. And in the earlier sequence, you'll see what I had to do to get the contact. And if you remember, last time I was getting a terrible buzz and we suspected earthing. If you listen, you can still hear some buzz in the air, but now it makes no difference whether I push this down. Okay. And if you can see from the controls here, it's up at full 10. Everything's balanced, 10, 10 each pickup. And there's very little difference as I change the tone. So we've cured the problem. The problem was that this earthing lead going into the control cavity was really low. I did actually put some copper in underneath here. I don't think there was a lot of point, but I did it all the same. Um, so I put it in both of them. Uh, I made a star joint or star ground inside. Um, I did experiment with the dummy coil. I I need to work on a different model, but at the moment it's just the passive electronics, the two tones, so it's two volumes and tone, um, and that's that. So now you see we've got the 1010. Let's turn just the, the uh, neck pickup on. It's not got appreciably louder. Yep. And now we do the same with that one. So there is a bit of noise, but nowhere near as much as there was before. Um, so I'm quite happy with the results. So I don't have to keep touching that anymore. And, you know, it allows the bass to sound quite nice. So I, I quite like the feel of this guitar now. It allows me more versatility. So I'm going to try it on my orange amp, which is the one that gives me the most problems, see if it's it's working. And at a later date, I will install the uh, cancelling a dummy coil to see whether that makes things even quieter from. So this, this shielding will stop the sort of bad effects of the fluorescent lights I am. It reduces that, but it won't stop um, as you move in and out of plane towards the amp. And the way you cure... The other effect is either a dummy core humbucking, or you stand at a certain orientation to the uh, to the amp. My problem at the church I play is that these single coils pick up the hearing loop, and for some reason we insist on squirting the music through the hearing loop, and of course the pickups can can end up causing some sort of problem unless they're balanced. But anyway, um, if you hope you found it useful, if you have a terrible noise from your tone, it's almost certainly going to be check the bridge. If you find that there's the earthing problem, do like I did to take it apart carefully, mark up so you don't lose the relative orientation. This tape will come off. Um, put your shielding in, make certain a good continuity, solder it back together again and you should be okay. Cheers then, thanks, bye.